Okay, what you're looking at here is a 3D printed Rubik's Cube solving robot. Currently it's tethered to my computer. That's where the software is to run the brains of the robot. And this 3D printed robot was printed mostly on this printer. XYZ printer, whatever. About 70 hours worth of printing. 70 hours worth of making my desk a mess. And what we're going to do here is, I think it's capable of solving a robot now. Uh, solving a cube now, excuse me. So we'll take this cube right here, which is, you can see, is not solved. And we'll put it in here. And we will fire up the software. And see what happens.
And there you have it. The cube has been solved. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. Oops. Cube was solved. Anybody that wants to do this project, go to thingiverse.com and you can find it. I recommend you buy a brand new Rubik's Cube because the old style with the stickers that you can peel off just doesn't uh, doesn't work very well. And I said most of this printed 3D printed robot was printed on this printer. The rest of it was printed on this printer. Which is on the floor here, but on this uh, mini printer from XYZ as well. Alright folks. Ouch. I need this extension cord running across my floor because I ran out of plugs. 3D printed Rubik's Cube solving robot.